It's Thursday, July 16th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Years Ago and This Year. Our scripture is Isaiah chapter 44, where the prophet writes, But now listen to me, Jacob, my servant, Israel, my chosen one. The Lord who made you and helps you says, Do not be afraid, O Jacob, my servant, O dear Israel, my chosen one. For I will pour out water to quench your thirst and to irrigate your parched fields. And I will pour out my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your children. They will thrive like watered grass, like willows on a river bank. Some will proudly claim, I belong to the Lord. Others will say, I am a descendant of Jacob. Some will write the Lord's name on their hands and will take the name of Israel as their own. Several years ago, my bride and I were blessed to purchase the first brand new car we'd had in 30 years. I'd forgotten what that new car smell was like. Our daughter gave us a set of white fuzzy dice as a reminder, a funny reminder, of the 1950s fashion statement. Back then, anybody who was cool had fuzzy dice hanging from the rearview mirror. Back then, we watched Andy, Barney, Aunt B, and Opie on TV. Today, we hang our face masks on the car mirror. The words of Father God through the prophet Isaiah like soothing balm on the sunburned, scorched skin. It proves one thing. Even God's people are in need of reassurance. It's not that we've lost faith today as opposed to yesterday's strong connection, but rather today the circumstances have changed and an assault on our faith questions that connection. It's normal to run to your parent in times of crisis or when you've been in a struggle. We see that over and over again in the Psalms. David wants to reach out and feel the embrace of his heavenly father. In Job, a man of intense faith and godliness, He constantly asks for clarification on the why of his troubles. And Jonah, the disobedient prophet, tries to hide from his detestable calling from God of bringing the message of blessing to the despised Ninevites. When we look around, perhaps especially today, and we see anger and protest and division and hatred, it's more than mildly discomforting, it's scary. And we need God's comforting voice telling us he's with us and it'll be all right. As a pastor, just one of many thousands of pastors, I'm always concerned about how the church is doing and if we're doing enough to pass along the faith to the next generation who will take the reins and help steer the wagon for the generation that comes after theirs. I don't think you can be a pastor without that concern. The first time I felt that concern was as a young man seeing firsthand the results of the God is dead movement where the prevailing thought was that God, if ever such a being really did exist, must now be dead and we're on our own in this universe. Among ministers and the faithful laity was a deep concern that the church could not survive such an onslaught of unbelief. There was a wave of people leaving the church, particularly young people, the so-called future of the church, and it was astounding. However, throughout the last half century, the church has not only endured, it has matured and changed and adapted and ministered and grown. In short, the church is still the church, God's church, his witness, his special creation and loved family. Let's pray together. Father, we're no different than Israel in Isaiah's day. We need your comfort and blessing. Abba, in your mercy. For you today, the church throughout the centuries has seen culture change, rearrange, come unglued, reassembled, knock to its knees, and get up again. The church has been there every step of the way because God said so. The church you knew in your youth isn't gone, but today it doesn't look like you remember it or like you think it should look. Rather, it looks like what God is moving it to be. Our best hope of being faithful to God's purpose and design is to continually fast, pray, and cooperate with God by serving others. 
This is the one constant and calling of those who claim the faith once delivered to the saints. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.